free play time and also when you're learning with your friends. Every time I come over here, um, all my friends go, like, they're all happy to see me and stuff. Sometimes we have to give a little push to have them come, but at the end of the day, they always have a good time. It's such a great way of building community. It's great for the parents and the kids, really. I think anytime kids are around other kids and it's a positive environment, they really um, enjoy it. I like the stories. And I like the snacks. کودکان حامل بذرهایی هستند که خصوصیات جامعه فردا را در بر دارند. انسان تلسم اعظم است ولکن عدم تربیت او را از آنچه با اوست محروم نموده. به یک کلمه خلق فرمود و به کلمه اخرا به مقام تعلیم هدایت نمود. انسان را به مسابه مدن که دارای احجار کریم است مشاهده نما. به تربیت جواهر آن به عرصه شهود آید و عالم انسانی از آن منتفع گردد. با این باور برگرفته از آثار بهایی، فعالیت های آموزشی در جوامع بهایی همواره ملهم از تعهد عمیق به شرافت اصلی انسان طراحی و اجرا می شود. A lot of times, you know, how excited they are often depends on which other friends they have in the class. And so I know for him and for, I have a daughter also in a younger group, they both have very good friends in their classes. And so that's one of the big things that really keeps them happy about coming. Um, but then I know they find that once they're here, when they're in the class, I see it in their eyes. They're so engaged in what the teacher is talking about. Um, they're so eager to answer questions and to give their own ideas and their own thoughts. And it's just such a good opportunity for them to kind of exert their own curiosity and, and autonomy about their spiritual lives with somebody other than their parent. And that's kind of the best part. I am, oh my God, but a tiny seed which thou has soul in the soil of thy heart. I see that it, it really changes their soul and who they are. They learn at an early age about God and love of God in their hearts and, and kindliness. And I think when they are, they're taught at a very young age, it becomes a part of them. And then they show that kindness to other kids at school. And when you hear from the teachers how your, how your children are when they're interacting with other kids, you can see um, the effects, right? That what they learned in school, they're actually putting into action. In our classes, we, we do recite prayers and holy verses and their confidence in doing that and even organizing gatherings themselves, we've seen that capacity over time increase. So for example, just a few months ago, two of the kids from my own class um, volunteered to lead a, you know, a, a family devotional and they picked the theme, they picked all the quotations which involved writings from various faiths and a story and songs and, and we all were uplifted. I mean, I think we as teachers were awed by them. right there in the tree, I would have invited them to play with me and that would make them feel very much better and that's the way I can show love. Thank you and thank you for the food in my mouth on the Take care of the homeless people and the people that need to have a home. Amen, thank you so much.
the fact that the kids that come to the class are the kids that they live with in the neighborhood, which makes it easier because then they're constantly reminding each other, don't do that, we're supposed to do this. Miss Danita says this, guys, be good. You know, always make Miss Danita proud is kind of what they do when they walk around. So I appreciate it a lot. My girl loves this class. She, she can't wait to come and see her friends. And afterwards, she's always talking about the virtues that she learned and how she's going to implant it into her life. And it's, it's unbelievable with the teachers that my daughter, Nava, is only seven years old, but she grabs every story and every quote. I've always had a connection to music, so I really like singing and the dancing and all the games that we play. But I also like being able to connect with God. آموزش و پرورش صرفاً به منزله یک کسب دانش و توسعه مهارت‌ها تلقی نمی‌شود، بلکه همچنین به منزله پرورش استعدادهای ذاتی وسیع و قدرتمندی که در کنه طبیعت هر انسانی به ودیعه نهاده شده است مشاهده می‌گردد. علاوه بر آن پرورش این قوا و استعدادهای مکنونه که هم حق خدادادی و هم وظیفه هر پرده است هنگامی به سمن می رسد که با روح خدمت به عالم انسانی و در راه ایجاد یک تمدن جهانی نوین به کار گمارده شود. They'll just be lost, and I'm not gonna lie. I thank God, I thank God. It's good, it's so good that Leanne, she, she be singing the song, even if she's taking a bath. She just do a lot of, and I really, I really appreciate them. I'm, I appreciate them, okay? When I'm teaching with my students, it will grow with them. Truth, truthness, and um, kindness that don't that sit in the house and sit on the internet and sit in front of the TV you know they're not really social so I feel like that this will help improve my daughter as far as like being social instead of being anti-social tragedy the past tragedy the past tragedy the past tragedy the past Tragedy the path of justice, for this barely is the straight path. Oh, good job. <laughs> Connecting with the families and with the parents is vital to really building community. So the purpose of, of these activities, of course, we want to think about the youngest members of our community, but really, we're trying to connect all of the hearts. A big part of what we do is, is go out regularly and have conversations and home visits with the parents, where we go and we study prayers together. Oftentimes we bring the material from the children's class so that the parents have opportunity to also reinforce and, and learn what the children are learning. As I talk to some of the parents, one of the things I always say to them is, you know, if a family that prays together stays together, then like what can happen when a whole community ساختن جامعه ای بر پایه اصل یگانگی نوع بشر نیازمند به کارگیری اصولی همچون ادالت، محبت، امانت، صداقت و بردباری در روابط اعضایان می باشد. بنابراین باید این اصول در جامعه درک و به نسل آینده منتقل شوند. به دین ترتیب هیچ تلاشی برای بهبود جامعه نمی تواند آموزش اخلاقی و معنوی کودکان و نوجوانان را نادیده بگیرد. In the course of being a, parent, a young parent, studying book one and book three were crucial for my husband and I to really think about how we, our attitude towards our children, both our, our children in our home and also the children at my school and the children that we are in the neighborhood, you know, how do we think of them, how do we interact with them? It really helped us to refine our thinking, which of course influences all of our actions. You know, I feel like I'm always learning from the other teachers as well. 
we all went through a training and I actually now have, you know, I've been a train the trainer, I guess you could say. We have our weekly planning and we all have an understanding. There's never any concerns or issues amongst one another. We make sure to really be able to talk out and actually have conversation and consultation about, you know, the children's wants and needs and also as well as just what can we do to continue to make our class improve. تعلیم و تربیت کودکان فقط بر عهده والدین نیست. جامعه نی سهم مهمی در این باره ایفا می کند. تشکیل کلاس هایی برای پرورش معنوی و اخلاقی که درهای آن به روی همه کودکان از هر نژاد، قوم، ملیت و دین باز است، به طور معمول از نخستین فعالیت هایی است که بهاییان در هر محل به آن مشغول می شوند. محور این کلاس ها پرورش صفات و خصوصیاتی همچون صداقت، بخشندگی، پاکی قلب و مهربانی است. صفاتی الهی که در آینه قلب انسان انکاس میابند و پایه های ضروری برای وحدت در جامعه را بنا می کنند. مطالب آموزشی این کلاس ها متناسب با سن کودکان است و با آنها کمک می کند تا درک واضحتری از این مفاهیم و چگونگی به کار بستن آنها را در زندگی روزمره کسب کنند. جوامع بهایی در سراسر سر دنیا بخشی از منابع و انرژی خود را صرف آموزش مربی برای کلاس های کودکان می کنند تا بتوانند افرادی را برای این خدمت آماده نمایند که با محبت و علاقه نسبت به کودکان با ایمان به توانمندی های آنان و با دیدگاهی روشن نسبت به آینده با شکوهی که انسان به سمت آن در حرکت است با آموزش کودکان پردازند Say my friends are probably teasing someone younger than them I would pro- I would not join in and I would tell them to stop because I learned that no matter how young someone is that they shouldn't be treated worse than anyone else We started this in in the first year of covid so we didn't really figure that anybody wanted to have very many people or any people you know, really into their house. So we just try to have it on days when there's not thunderstorms and it's not 30 degrees and we just adjust to the weather and all the kids like to come out here to the center here and, 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 and all the parents can, can look out and, and see their kids if, if they want to. <laughs> have lots of people uh, in the neighborhood that assist with the children's classes and that are even teaching the children's classes themselves. They've gone through the, to study the material of the Ruhi Institute and have become children's class teachers themselves. Um, and so there are a number of youth uh, in the neighborhood who are teaching children's classes as well as several of the parents. But then we also have junior youth who are excited about the idea of serving the, those who are just a little bit younger than they are. So even the junior youth in our community, they started off by just maybe teaching the children a couple of songs, but now they come to every children's class and they really are uh, a permanent part of our, our children's class, our children's class uh, teaching assistants. And they you know, are, are learning really by, by being side by side with the children's class teachers. Um, about really thinking about the spiritual education and nourishing the souls of the, the younger members of our community. I get to help out with the kids and teach them other things too. And just when I teach them things so they can learn and go tell everybody else. مؤسسه ی آموزشی روحی با تمسک به مشارکت همگانی هم به عنوان یک اصل و هم یک هدف میکوشد آنگونه فعالیت های آموزشی طرح و اجرا نماید که یادگیری در کلاس و مطالعه شخص را با ادای خدمت در جامعه توام نماید منظور آن است که هر فعالیت آموزشی به نفس تجربه ای توان بخش باشد که به شرکت کنندگان یاری دهد تا به کسب خصیصه ها، نگرش ها، 
توانمندی ها و مهارت های بیشتری که ویژگی نوع جدیدی از فعالان اجتماعی است موفق شوند. فعالانی که نیروهای خود را تماما در جهت پیش برد رفاه جامعه به کار می برند و اعمالشان ملهم از بینشی از یک تمدن جهانی جدید است که در تمام ساختارها و فرایندهای خود اصل اساسی اتحاد نوع بشر را مجسم خواهد ساخت. It's quite a bit of work for the teachers. You know, the teachers, they put a lot of effort into every single class. So I know as the parents, helping the teachers really helps the class. If we can be dependable, we can show up, you know, when we're expected to show up um, and be there to really support the teachers because they're really like putting so much of their own time and effort into this. You know, the challenge right now, part of it has been COVID. You know, we've had so many changes in families' lives. Even feeling confident and safe, gathering together was something we had to work through. So we did actually temporarily go on Zoom for a good part of a year. You know, when the spirit is there, the intention is there, these things are barriers in the way, but ultimately that process of, of building consensus and unity, it, it, it worked out. My biggest challenge is people canceling last minute. So I plan all week to present the class. So that's the biggest challenge because the courses go lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four. So if I have some kids that are regular and some that aren't coming, then I have to catch those other ones up. But I think the solution is just to teach the class all over again. I think it's part of the significance of the materialistic society. So you have people focused on more material uh, goals instead of spiritual values. So I would say they don't value it, probably would be the reason. Sometimes I think if I see, you know, one area where maybe the class is struggling a little bit, whether it's the younger children or the older children, it kind of doesn't matter what age. Um, if I have ideas or experiences with a similar, similar struggle, um, I might ask the teacher if I can be a helper one time. And then as that helper, I might, you know, share with the teacher some ideas of what we could try differently or what new strategy we could use and, and see how that goes. Um, and if it's something that goes well, then the, you know, I think the teacher is generally really open to adopting changes and trying new things. I think, yeah, in general, teachers are always so open-minded and, and willing to hear ideas and advice and thoughts and um, feedback. So that's, that's the most important thing is being open to feedback. Thank you.